Hi. My name is Mia. I hope you are doing great. I'm a video journalist and right now, I'm preparing a documentary about statistics. I'm in the ancient ruins of Jordan, trying to collect information about these concepts. Did you know that statistics is a branch of mathematics dealing with the collection, analysis, interpretation, presentation, and organization of data? A statistical question is one that can be answered by collecting data and where there will be variability in that data. For example, there will likely be variability in the data collected to answer the question. How much do the animals at the zoo weigh? Or how many minutes do sixth graders typically spend on homework? But not to answer questions like, what color dress is Florence wearing? Or what is your favorite color? For example, identify if these questions are statistical or not. How old is your cat? On average, how old are the dogs that live on this street? What proportion of the students at your school like oranges? Do you like watermelons? Now let's talk about measures of central tendency. A measure of central tendency is a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within that set of data. The mean, median, and mode are all valid measures of central tendency, but under different conditions, some measures of central tendency become more appropriate to use than others. For example, the mean is equal to the sum of all the values in the data set divided by the number of values in that data set, in other words, an average. As you can see here, if we have n values in a data set and they have values x1, x2, etc., the sample mean will be given by the following formula. The median is the middle score for a set of data that has been arranged in order of magnitude. The median is less affected by outliers and skewed data. We first need to rearrange that data into order of magnitude. Now, 56 is the middle mark, because there are 5 scores before it and 5 scores after it. And the mode is the most frequent score in our data set. On a histogram it represents the highest bar. So, what do you say? Can you continue recognizing statistics in real-world situations? Just remember that today you learned the concept of measure of central tendency, the concepts of mean, median, and mode, and how to identify statistical questions. Practice a lot and you will see that you will be better at it. I have to go now. Bye. And see you next time.